I'm Patrick Siebert and I'm here with Brian the Ferocious Dragon Fiore. Together we just got played and we're coming to you live from the Cloak and Blaster in Orlando, Florida. We come here, we drink some beers and we play some games and tonight we just got done playing Dragon Flame. Brian, tell us about Dragon Flame. Uh, okay. Dragon Flame, it's a two to five player um, strategy card game. Um, it takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play in which you assume the role of a uh, bloodthirsty, murderous, arsonistic uh, red dragon um, and you are hell-bent on attacking castles, grabbing the loot and the treasure, bringing it back to your lair, but on the way back you stop and uh, burn some villages and uh, you know to, to cinders. Um, the victory point conditions for the game is whichever one of your dragons happens to score the most glory points. So how do you do that? There's, well, you've got your set collection um, of all of your various treasures and loot that you score from the castle. Um, the other place that you get it is from actually raising the village, whichever dragon is the one that burns, you know, puts the most fire damage down um, over there, gets a lot of uh, glory points from there. So, uh, Patrick, what would you say is your favorite thing about Dragon Plan? There's a high level of luck in this game that I normally don't enjoy in a in my games. I really am a strategy game guy, or at least how I think of myself. But for some reason, this luck to strategy ratio really works for me. I really enjoyed it. I think it helps the replayability, and I think it also helps keeping the game fairly light. And if there's one thing that you really like about it... Uh, the thing that I like best about Dragon Flame is that there's a little bit of something for everyone. Um, you've got a little bit of a set collection, which takes place. You got a little bit of spatial tactics, uh, which takes place during the, the burning and the raising of the villages and how you lay out your fiery breath weapon and that kind of stuff. Um, and then you also have a little bit of social deduction and bluffing that uh, takes place as far as uh, where you want to put your loot cards that are really good so you remember them for later, where you want to hide certain cards, which can either be curses or treasures that you want to collect later and not have someone else steal them out from under, from under you as well. Um, so whether it's, uh, you know, the spatial tactical aspect or you've got the bluffing aspect or whether it's set collection, uh, I think there's a little bit of something that should appeal to everyone. Uh, what would you say is the thing that you like least about Dragonflame? That it almost could be an abstract game. I, I feel like it's, it, it, is, it does have some relationship with the theme, and I do like it, but it feels like it's not a strong, intimate relationship with the theme, or it, it could be stronger some way. I, I just feel like it's, it's just not married to the theme deeply, intimately, erotically. So, if there's one thing that you didn't like about it. Um, the thing that I would say I like least about uh, Dragon Flame is that, I mentioned before, that it does have a little bit of something for everyone, and that sort of increases the complexity of the game. However, you had mentioned before that there's the luck to strategy ratio, and I would kind of classify this game as somewhere between light and medium strategy. So the thing that I like least is that there's a lot of complexity relative to the amount of the luck strategy. It's sort of like a, a, like a weird opinion, I guess, but for me, that's, that's what I like least about it, the complexity level to the, to the luck strategy ratio. It's just not a super light ratio. game yeah. that the luck would make you feel like it should be. Uh, if it was a little bit lighter, yeah, a little bit less complex, I, I think for me that ratio would balance out better. And that, yeah. you know. But um, again, uh, Dragon Flame, it was uh, successful on Kickstarter and you can now actually get your copy at minioningames.com. So jump on that website and order your copy today. I'm Patrick, this is Brian, you're watching Just Got Played and thank you for watching Just Got Played. So. We were bad guys. We both got to play bad guys. Yeah. It's, it's kind of refreshing that you actually get to play a villain once in a while for like, you know, a little lighthearted arson and murder. Lighthearted arson and murder? Yeah. I guess you are plowing through a village, turning little children into flaming marshmallows. Yeah, but marshmallows are fun. Everyone loves marshmallows. Oh dear. I fear that Matt Loomis and James Math have something terrible in store for my little village. Oh dear. Oh, some, mm, someone's making barbecue. It's, it's very tasty smelling out there. I wonder if they're making steaks or hamburgers or... Oh my goodness, God gracious! What kind of production is this? <laughs>